Carter Page unveils the truth about the dossier the media has been covering up by US4Trump.com. Carter Page is the central victim of the FISA application scandal. He was the American who was being spied upon by the American government so the politicized branches could spy on a presidential election. When the 412-page FISA application for his warrant became public knowledge, uh, Carter Page is able to identify the actual lies in the FISA application. Tucker puts all the dots together after reading the lengthy document. Carter Page has not been charged. The U.S. government has been spying on his personal life for over a year. Tucker begins by saying this comes from the dossier but the application accuses you of meeting with two Russian officials, both named Igor, uh, Igor uh, Session and Igor Devakin. Uh, did you meet with either of those men? Carter clearly states, almost laughing at the audience's uh, audacious lie, I have never met with them and still smiling ads as he shrugs his shoulders uh, in my life. Um, and laughing at the notion that this uh, complete fabrication was used in a FISA application, says, yup, and laughs. Let's just take a look at the video instead of me repeating what he does because we're not going to get the full effect. Meanwhile, the man identified by the Obama administration as a Russian agent walks free tonight. He is a living rebuke to this whole grotesque hoax. He is Carter Page, and he joins us live tonight. Carter Page, thank you for coming on. I'm sorry for talking. So, this application repeatedly describes you as an agent of the Russian government, repeatedly. Um, are you aware of any criminal charges pending against you? Do you expect to be charged for working for the Russian government? Not only am I not, I'm not aware of it, Tucker, there's also the fact that no question I've ever been asked by the FBI in terms of any of these fake theories related to the dossier, as you're alluding to, none, none of those made any sense whatsoever. So there's not even a, a premise by which I could even conceivably be charged. So it's absolutely ridiculous. And yet there, there are specifics from the dossier. Um, apparently, this comes from the dossier. But the application uh, accuses you of meeting with two Russian officials, both named Igor. Igor Sechin and I Igor Divyekin. Did you meet with either one of those men? I never met with them in my life, ever. Yeah. Do you, do you believe that that allegation comes from the Steele dossier? Absolutely. It's funny, in July of 2016, two months before the uh, Yahoo News article came out, I started getting these calls from various news reporters. You know, what, Wall Street Journal, New York Times, Washington Post, CNN all asking me about these same two names of people I've never even heard of in my, uh, or I, I had heard of Sechin, I never even heard of Dubyakin. And so it was obvious, you know, and some people told me from the media that the, they heard about it from the Clinton campaign, et cetera, but, you know. So finally they found someone to put it out in uh, 45 days before the election in uh, Yahoo News, so. So the Clinton campaign, of course, learned about it from Christopher Steele, whom they were paying, uh, to gather this dossier. And, and it's my understanding, too, from the testimony in recent months that Steele never visited Russia, never bothered to go to Russia as he assembled this dossier. Is that correct? That's uh, my understanding as well. And, you know, there's a number of uh, lawsuits going on, Mr. Gubarev uh, down in uh, Southern District of Florida. So right. hopefully and these civil, yes, I know. Hopefully these civil cases can uh, get to the bottom of this. And, you know, it's but great. Yet at, yeah. the, at, this, at the same time, now we learn that in October of 2016, really at the height of the intensity of the presidential campaign, Christopher Steele, on the payroll of the Clinton campaign, briefs officials at the State Department and that briefing apparently was used as one of the pretexts for spying on you. Am I connecting those dots correctly? That's my understanding, Tucker. And, you know, just based on this, uh, these 400 plus pages of uh, documents, you know, there's a lot in there about media. You know, it's sort of quoting a lot of media sources. And, you know, I've talked with a couple of uh, former assistant U.S. attorneys, et cetera, and 
no one has ever heard of anything like this in terms of this type of a uh, uh, court filing. It's, it's just absolutely preposterous in terms of their sources. So, One of the reasons I find this story so fascinating is because you are an actual person, an American, a Naval Academy graduate, and you're willing to talk in public. It's amazing to me that you have been the target of this surveillance and, and lives to tell the tale. You're not being charged, as you said, and I think you're probably right. What has it done to your life? How do you feel knowing that the federal government was spying on your personal life for a year? Tucker, it's absolutely outrageous, but I have, I have to say I'm, I'm very happy to have gotten the, uh, finally, you know, 14 months later, the uh, FBI answered my FOIA requests. This weekend, we started having a little bit of uh, transparency. Obviously, there's 100 plus pages of blacked out uh, information, and I think you know it's just starting the process in terms of getting the getting to the real truth of these crimes that were committed against uh, American democracy with this abusive process in the FISA court. So, but really committed against you. I mean, your government, on the basis of no actual evidence, has accused you of treason and spied on you as a result. I mean, how does that, as someone who served your country in the military as a naval officer, how does that make you feel? Well, my bigger concern is, you know, there's obviously big problems in the U.S. Department of Justice. There are these false court pleadings, you know, the false uh, court pleadings that uh, U.S. Attorney Berman has put in, in terms of uh, my civil case against right. Broadcasting Board okay. of Governors. But the bigger issue, uh, which is my bigger concern, is the complete failure of the U.S. intelligence community in terms of looking at this Russia issue. If this is what they're well, using... Well, like they, it sounds like they succeeded, actually. I don't know if it's a failure. They had a very specific goal in mind, and they've achieved it. That's why we're talking about it today. Yeah. They've yeah. hamstrung the, work, the workings of government for a year and a half. Carter Page, you're a lot more forgiving than I would be in your position. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Tucker. Well, since he was in charge, but they don't bring up his uh, tie so much to uh, him working uh, for the FBI and things. But uh, look. Uh, I, I still believe he, he uh, knew he was a plant. Uh, I, I still believe it, and this is an act on their part. I, I believe that. Uh, because uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, you know, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but I still think he is a plant, and he knew about it. And, uh, you know, he's just playing the uh, game... Uh, because, look, the people in the FBI, in investigators, that's what they do. They're trained to do that. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.